afternoon, good afternoon, good night, where you guys are. We are finally taking the turbo drift car out for a drift, but not without, not without just the adventures. So uh, we'll go into some detail. Welcome to the video. And um, yeah, I might look very tired. I'm very tired because it's a very long night and the car is still 100%, but we are just going to go and test the car. Deal with it before the pro comp, which you guys will see um, basically tomorrow. So hang on. <laughs>
bait. Falcon drift car, uh, comp spec car, obviously. So, bloody good over here. What a tell them, tell them goodbye. Say goodbye, guys. Buy one of these. It's a bit cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, I know what you guys are probably keen to find out. What are we doing with the speedo to make all that stuff work? So, we actually bought a kit 
from some guy down south, not south, across Australia, Western Australia, sorry. And his description on how to make it work was a little bit vague, but um, gee, he, he did actually message back on Saturday. I was doing it on a Saturday and he actually did message me back, so I do appreciate that, Jamie. Now, the uh, we've put the speedo onto the back of the diff, or the back of the tail shaft side of the diff, to make the speedo work. So there was another option that someone mentioned a little while back that never worked. Um, I can't remember who it was, but thank you for um, sending us the link to this fella. So we've put that in. So I'm just gonna show you how that looks. So you guys know, but <clears throat> one of the issues we've run into, and it somehow was fine at the track, but the speedo is literally double plus plus a bit because excuse me at like 70 kilometers an hour it's saying 180 kilometers an hour on the dash so i don't really care about what it says but obviously soccer issue has a speed cut so it's freaking out i can't go faster than 74 kilometers an hour on the highway it's just like so i'm gonna find out what to do for that so we can fix that issue and i'll show you what we've done as well and also what we've done for the catch can to settle it down so just quickly over to the catch can side of things so this is what we've done we've got this fitting here coming down runs down goes into here now we have it t-pieced that was running down to the sump but i um now i know what the issue was actually when we did all this i took it for a quick run and literally oil absolutely everywhere and i was like what the heck is going on like this thing never spat that much oil and then it wasn't until basically later that night we kind of played with the boost did a couple other things i was like the car's on fuel so i went to go get fuel and i was like the fuel pump still sounds really strange so about 3 30 a.m i was out the front changing my fuel pump in the tank it just stopped working so the 044 was sucking everything and the thing was still driving sweet but obviously on heavy boost, it was out of fuel. So, uh, and running lean as. So that was really exciting. I had to change that. So that's what we're doing. And then this line here, that runs all the way up under and to this back fitting right here. And uh, we do have a drain. So there's a drain, goes down, oh, we'll move it here, comes down back to the sump. So it keeps a constant flow and doesn't fill up, it drains back to sump. And as some people go, that is the dumbest idea, all the crap. Well, all the crap that ends up in there has come from the engine, so it's only gone back in where it came from. So, what the heck? That's what we've done on our 2530s, that's what we're doing. Onto the back. I'll get some double red All right, so we're under the car, so... New box there. I ended up putting a little bit of silicon in between the mount, so that's quietened it up. The bolts come loose, just as I thought it would have beautiful and here we are this is the speedo so bolts onto the back of the tail shaft like that you got to make this bracket so the kit comes with this and that and quite a bit of length um so that works it hasn't hit now i did have to cut my floor out a little bit up there that's what you're seeing because of how low it is and i didn't want to damage these um one thing that he did not supply us was a resistor that we would need nowhere to put the resistor so i'm gonna let him know he should probably do that because i do know that this kit is i mean obviously it's for these if you do like a different gearbox so i don't know i would have personally gone this is what you need that's what we do with our kits and things like that we go this we give you everything you need and give you the option if you need it. If you don't know, then you just buy it all and, and you're sweet. But the kit was only like 115 bucks. So, I mean, 150 bucks, throw everything in there, I'd be fine with that. So, that's that. It does work. We just need to work, work out what we can do. I think there's a control that we can buy that will adjust the outputs. Or we are possibly going to look at taking a couple teeth off to slow down the pace. So I don't really want to wreck that part, but we'll see what happens. But yes, but that's it for that. 
Um, also, I got the thing hot a few times and oil has spewed out the catch can. Um, yeah, I, it was definitely getting hot and I was still feeding it the throttle as you guys have seen. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, basically, once you guys see this, tomorrow will be the Thursday and we're doing the comp at Archer Field. It's a pro drift competition, invite only. Yes, I got invited. Um, hopefully we do well on that. We're gonna really push hard, so we're gonna have as much footage from that as possible. Um, hopefully it's good, because it's all gonna be well, late afternoon, evening. So, hope that's gonna be all right. Thanks to truck man, thanks to truck man. And um, Travis is servicing the vehicle for us. Am I? Typical AU service, the greaser. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a little power sweat, it's all good. There's a bit of powder sweat. But, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, take care. See you in the next one.